dime them out of channel welcome right today i'm going to be using a tap and die kit and uh i'm no expert but i've used them in the past and i need to i bought this because i need to do another job on one it's perhaps a little bit off topic for what's normal on my channel but i'm doing a repair on my car um i was given a car out here in japan k cars are really common boxy little cars are really good i, I reckon a lot of countries would benefit from having k cars as the, as the majority of their vehicles on the road i actually think i think they're really good uh anyway so i got given one and it's a bit of a bin job it's like should have gone to the scrapyard but it was offered to me for free from a family member so i was like yeah i'll take that but i need loads of repairs so uh i've done loads of things to it I need air conditioning done that radiator uh but it was just, worst thing it was just oil really almost pouring out the engine so i've taken all the bits off and uh, I'd take there's a turbo, so I'd take all the intercooler apart and stuff. I had to get all these bits out of the way. Uh, it's a cylinder head gasket that was all dried out. It's supposed to be rubber. It's like gone like plastic and cracked in places. So that explains why oil was coming out one side. But I knew from looking around it, with the engine running, oil was seeping out the other side. And uh, when I went to take it off, one bolt, this one, was just turning, turning, turning. It's like, oh no, it's not good. It's all stripped out. I don't know if the guy who gave it to me tried to tighten it up to try and stop the oil coming out and uh, stripped it, I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's stripped. The thread in the engine is stripped out, so I'm gonna try and recut it. It's the last chance for this car, because if I can't, if you can't torque down all the bolts evenly and get it sat down correct, uh, it's just gonna, the oil's gonna seep out wherever it's looser. So yeah, I need to have a go at fixing that. So I'll get into it after I said thank you to a new patron, Lynn Vott, thank you very much, Lynn. I'm asking for patrons on the channel. A bit of financial help and enables me to continue making the videos. I've got over 25 years experience as a professional jeweler, so I learned a lot, got a lot of experience. So I wanna share everything I learned and put all the videos out on YouTube and a lot of exclusive videos for the patrons only and uh, try and share my skills and get everyone trained up. So anyway, let's try and use this stuff. So I actually bought two kits. This is from a local hardware store. I think I've seen the same thing in England. Obviously, it's quite a common bit of kit. It's shipped around the world. And then also I bought this. This I bought from AliExpress the same time I bought these tools. I did a video recently on testing out cheap tools from AliExpress. These are really good. This has been really helpful. I really like that. So I'm glad I bought that. So yeah, I bought this at the same time. Little tap and die kit. This is good. It's like a ratchet. It obviously goes both ways. So we can lock it in the middle. And then locks up. Uh, yeah, really useful. And obviously, there you go. Wait, wait, wait. So, this is the one I think is correct. This just come with a cutting part. M6, this is a six. There you go, so that screws in. If you're reconditioning old machines, sometimes it's a good idea to run these through, just run the bolt through with your fingers like that. Just sharpens up all the all the thread. Anyway, so I'm not using that today. I think that is correct. So this is, okay, that's that, that's ready to go. What I'm gonna do is, I've got this. This, I'm about to build a pull-up bar out on my balcony with a scaffolding. So this is gonna fix it to the wall and I'll have it fixed down on the ground, obviously. And uh, yeah, anyway, so that's waiting for that job to be done. So I'm just gonna drill through one of these holes, open it up, and I'm just I'm gonna have a practice run with that. A bit of oil on there. Okay, let's... We're going in nice and vertical. I would say just start off really slowly. Don't push, you just turn with a little bit of pressure on and let the tool do the cutting rather than thinking about you've got to put weight on it to, to do it. But at the same time, hold it quite firm. Just carefully rotate it, keeping it vertical. If you start moving it left and right while you're rotating it, you're not really cutting a nice thread. Well, you're not cutting a thread, you're just making a mess. Okay, I feel it's locked in. Get a bit more oil. So yeah, I hope I can fix this car. Um, mainly because I'm going to sell it. 
if I can get it working. I've changed the AC condenser, done a radiator, because that was leaking as well. Uh, new hoses, spark plugs. If I can get the oil leak fixed, I'll change the spark plugs and change the oil, obviously, as well. Give it proper service. And then give it the mother of all polishes and cleans, and then try and sell it. Feels really sturdy in there, and it's definitely, definitely cutting. Okay, it's gone easy to turn. I think I've done the job. Okay, so now's the uh, the big test. Let's see if that screws in there. I think it will. If I can hold on to it. There you go. Perfect. If I had a tool, that'll go in there, no problem. Cool. So hopefully, I can get this car usable again. So that was it, that's all this video is about, just testing this new tool. So now I know that it works and I've had a practice run with it, I can, with a little bit of confidence, fix my car. I sort of think I can get this to grip and pull down tight again. Maybe one extra trick I could do if I could drill a bit deeper and then cut thread, get a longer bolt, cut down a little bit more. I don't know, hopefully it's, this just works. Uh, anyway, so. If you're new to the channel, this is a bit of an unusual video, they're not all like this. Uh, if you're looking to learn to make jewellery, check out all the old videos as well. None of them have gone out of date. I've been uploading for over three years. You can go right back to the start of my channel and you'll find stuff that's still relevant uh, for people learning today. It's all educational, it doesn't go out of date. So uh, yeah, check out, check out all the videos. Go right, scroll right down, because you're going right down to the start. <laughs> you'll find some useful stuff. Um, yeah, if you want to help the channel out, if you're new to the channel, click like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, if you want to help me out a bit further, you can become a Diamond Matter member, look for a join button on the page. And better than all of that is become a patron. So it's patreon.com forward slash dynamounter. If you join, you'll get a shout out, personal shout out on the next upload after you join. You get access to all the new YouTube videos two weeks before they go public on YouTube. And official, sorry, uh, classic and official patrons will get access to all the fun instructional guides. So I've been making these like hour, sometimes two hour or more long videos go from start to finish. Just start with like a bit of sheet or just a blob melted up and then create something uh, like a three stone ring or something, all like complex parts all put together. I'll show the whole process, like all the tools, all the techniques. I'll explain alternative techniques and alternative tools while I'm doing it. Uh, just all the information in my head comes out while I'm working. So I'll show you everything I'm doing and explain why I'm doing it. I can talk about different ways and why I prefer the way I'm doing it anyway. Just, <laughs> just trying to put as much information in there as I can. So yeah, you get access to 30 of those videos for just £10 a month, so I think it's a good deal. Um, yeah, and official patrons, which is the top tier, will get access to exclusive content and ability to message me, and I help people out personally with their own jewellery making endeavours. So I think it's all good value. And um, yeah, that's it. So thanks to all the patrons, thanks to all the members, thanks to all the regular viewers and commenters, people who click like on all my videos. I do really appreciate that, helps the channel grow. And uh, yeah, I hope you join me again on the next upload. See ya.